welcome to Pine Notes. This is Lisa and today we are making homemade laundry detergent. Now for my safety I have already boiled this water and shut off the heat. Uh, just wanted you to know be safe out there while you're doing this and it will come back to a boil real real quick that's why I did this so if you see steam coming out here that's why I am getting ready to do the basis of our soap the first thing I did was measure my container that I will put the soap in and pour the water in and boil it the next thing we're going to do is add about a tablespoon of your borax you can find this at any drugstore. I, I love using um, borax, especially if I've got stains or smells I've got to get out of my laundry. And here is Arm & Hammer Super Washing Soda. This stuff is miracle for everything. You can use it in your laundry, your bathroom your kitchen and upholstery, your silver and outdoor furniture. I will put this directly on collar stains of shirts and it comes out beautifully. So I've already pre-measured. I've got a tablespoon of each going in there. <laughs> One was a little more than a tablespoon. I accidentally spilled a little extra. That's all right. We're making soap. And as I mentioned, for my safety, this heat below me is off, so don't worry about that. And what I'm going to do is break, sorry about the noise, is break enough to cover the top. I've graded my Fells Naphtha Soup Laundry Bar and Stain Remover into my pot. Now what I'm going to do is bring this to a boil again so the laundry detergent flakes here melt. So instead of filming that, I'll be right back to show you what we do at Cool Down. Ah, everything has melted nicely here. I'm trying to keep the camera away so it doesn't get uh, steamy, if you will, but everything has melted down nicely. Now what I'm going to do is pull it off the heat, cool it a bit, and strain it into the containers that I'm going to use. And this is just an old protein powder jug that we've had for quite a long time. Um, it, it doesn't have a size of how many ounces on it. But I'm also going to use a tiny one because I would like a lavender scent one. Um, so that is what we're going to do is let this cool down a bit, strain it, and then the fun part. Let's add our essential oils. Well here we are. This is the only thing I had left at the bottom of that big pot and I will save these slivers for the next round when I make laundry detergent. Yes, I also saved those little slivers of uh, soap you get from like Dial, Ivory and whatnot. So this will just be added to the pile. Now this is my absolute favorite part of making homemade laundry detergent. What you add in here are what your clothes are going to smell like. Comes as no surprise to anybody since my channel name is Pine Notes we love pine trees. It is my absolutely favorite tree and favorite smell in the world. So what I'm going to do is add 10 drops of this essential oil. And I did get this on Amazon, but I just found out our local drug store, um, drug 
It's called Drug Mart. Carries them two for five, or two for ten, I'm sorry, five dollars each. So let's add ten, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. An extra one might have snuck in there, that's all right. And then give it a little stir. And this is why you have to do this while it's still fairly warm because this will start to gel up and make a thicker detergent like substance. So mix that in really good. And now I am going to add peppermint. Yes, peppermint. This smells so good together. I would have never thought that pine and peppermint together made an absolutely wonderful smell. Yes, it reminds me a little bit of Christmas, but also of hiking out there. But you only want three drops of this. Peppermint is very strong, and I love the smell of peppermint, too. I love candy canes. I wish they would sell those year-round. One, two, and three. There we go. Now, I did mention I was making a little girly one for myself. So I do have a tiny little container right here. I'm just going to stir this real quick. There we go. And since this is so tiny, I'm only going to start with three for my lavender. And this is, is just for me. This is lavender. And one, two, three. There we go. Now, what we will do is we will let these cool off and gel a little bit. Usually overnight, um, it's going to be 80 eight degrees today so it might take a little bit longer once you let this gel overnight almost you want to take your immersion blender and really mix this up really good this is why I have so much room left I got about a thumbs length room in this in both containers is because you're going to mix with the immersion blender really good so everything gels together nicely and we will be back for the finished product I wish I had smell-o-vision because the smell coming off of this is just fantastic I absolutely love pine and peppermint together alright we'll see you soon and here we are time-lapsed what the soap looks like is a hard gel. You see, I can pull a whole piece out here. So what you want to do is you want to add a little water. Remember, don't fill it to the top because you're going to immerse and blend it in a minute. So add a little water and then immerse and blend. Now I've already started our large one down here and you can see once you immerse and blend it by adding some water it becomes a nice laundry detergent. So I hope you enjoyed this homemade laundry detergent soap and I did measure the cups in here. This is 14 cups that my old protein bottle holds which is about 118 ounces and I'll try and do the math and see how much pennies on the dollar we save here by making our own homemade laundry detergent and I can tell you it just smells so wonderful well as always I thank you for watching liking and subscribing to my channel this is Lisa from Pine Notes. Take care. Now as I mentioned homemade detergent can be used for your homemade items. This happens to be a handkerchief and I am completely done sewing in the ends and doing the embroidery work. So now what I want to do is wash it 
roll it and gently shape the crochet edges. Now in this green is Lisa's lavender and I thought oh handkerchiefs would be so nice washed up in a light lavender scent. I also think homemade lavender soap would be good for your pillowcases, anything intimate, anything like that. And you don't need very much here. I'm just simply dipping my fingers in the soap and then working it up here. And now the water's a little bit cloudy, so I think I have enough in there. And all we're going to do is simply rinse. This gets all the chemicals of the threads. I don't know. Sometimes when these cotton threads come from um, out of the United States, they tend to have a little bit of a pesticide smell. When I worked in retail for 12 years, a lot of the clothing did that too. And all we're going to do is swish it around here. And we're just going to let it drain slightly and squeeze. Now, if this was a bigger crochet project, I would be blocking all the crochet lace edges. But for right now, I'm going to lay it out and roll it to dry it. And then shape the edges best I can. I'm not going to pin this. That would, would take an incredible amount of time. And here we are. and simply roll it to dry it. Gently shape each shell to open up the beautiful crochet work that you did. And flatten out these will be pressed as well using the cloth in between. Like I see a thread here, never cut it when it's wet. It will shrink back up, see where it lays here, and these shells on the red one are very, very tiny. I had a curly one here, so I'm hoping he lays down. And there you go.